Today, we've been testing out scientific methods, and scientific methods are different for the problem you have at hand. Our problem today was to see if there was a measurable difference between regular and diet soft drinks. We set up a question, we set up some procedures, and we tested our ideas. And we oh. Wow, look at that. Oh. That is pretty cool. So if you look down in here, get down below and check this out. So I see, I see some of these. Some of these are sinking. Those are the ones you guys, let's see here. I see the heavy ones you guys predicted would sink are at the bottom and up here at the top. We're going to see if we can put our ideas and what we've learned to the ultimate application. We're going to try to make the first ever Diet Coke Life Jacket. Cool. That looks pretty cool. So far, I need a few more here. Three. You must be insane. Wait, wait, wait for Craig. That's all of the dice. There you go. No, I'll leave that one off. You won't need that one. Jump in. Okay. You must be insane. That's all of the dice. All right, where's my lifeguards? You guys Are you ready? Going? Lifeguards ready? Yeah, uh, the first ever Diet Coke science suit. We've uh, uh, the ultimate test to see if our science today is science that we can trust. Rick, you can do this, Rick. It's tape coming undone. Am I at the edge yet? Yeah. Yes. yes. Stop. 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 Okay. All right. So today. We've done a science investigation to see whether diet or regular, which one is less dense than water. And we have tested this and it's worked that Diet Coke is less dense and is actually buoyant. So my science <coughs> students here, we've decided to put this to the ultimate test and make the first ever Diet Coke science flotation suit. Are you guys ready? Yeah! yeah. What I need to know, do you believe in science? Yeah! I hope so. You guys have to show this thing on air. Because if you believe in science, this should work. On the count of three, you guys help me, and I'm going to go straight back, and we'll see if I float. Wait, Ready? Are we going to push you? No. no. <laughs> Ready? One, One two, two, three. three. Ah! Yay! He's oh, starting to float. Oh, oh. <laughs> No, no swimming. That's cheating. That's, that's swimming. Well, my legs are my legs are staying up. I think this works really well. But what we needed was maybe a life jacket up here. No, 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 swimming's cheating. I don't know about you, but after all this hard science, nothing like just taking a break and relaxing in the pool. <laughs> Okay. One time, one thing about science is, often the first time you try it, it doesn't work. The real learning comes when you fail. Well, the first rule of the lifeguard is don't let people in the pool with cans of Coke. <laughs> All right, so here we are with the climax of our sink or float Diet Coke experiment. Today, we're going to put the ultimate test to our hypothesis. Diet Coke floats, but did I have enough Diet Coke on me to make my entire body buoyant and float. There's only one way to test this hypothesis, that's to try it out. This is science. Try it yourself. Go. We're putting the Diet Coke suit to the ultimate test. Ah, very nice. <laughs> It looks like the science worked this time. The Diet Coke does float, and we put enough cans to make it a nice, relaxing day. Only trouble with a suit like this, if it gets too hot, you might be compelled to drink a few. That would be a bad idea. <laughs> and remember, this is science. Try it yourself. <laughs>